everybody, welcome back to Real World Reviews. This is Cody Williams, and we're going to talk about the movie Beverly Hills Ninja. As being a longtime fan of Chris Farley since his days on Saturday Night Live and his earlier movies, I've always been fascinated with his style. He was one of the greatest when it comes to the likings of slapstick comedy itself, and it's a shame that we lost him so early. This movie may not be one of his best works, but I will admit that this is a great comfort movie that always manages to get a good chuckle out of me still to this very day. The movie story follows a baby that is rescued by a clan of ninja warriors and is raised by them as one of their own. Haru, as he is called, never quite fits in, nor does he manage to become a worthy ninja. With a little help from his adopted brother Gobei, Haru manages to take on a mission in Beverly Hills, California to solve a murder mystery in his own bumbling way. I don't recall ever seeing this in theaters, but I do remember watching it on a VHS copy and practically wore it out. Seven-year-old me simply could not get enough of this movie, and I always had a hysterical fun time with it. I can easily say that I've seen this film more so than the average Joe. Over the course of time, I find it that it holds up fairly well for the most part. As if you already didn't know, this movie's biggest selling point is Chris Farley himself. If he were in it, we can all agree that this film would be a total disaster. With his style of line delivery and improv humor, he is the backbone of this movie. Easily said, he is hilariously fantastic in this film. As far as other characters go, we have Robin Sho, who many know as the actor that played Liu Kang in both of the live-action Mortal Kombat movies. He plays the character of Haru's adopted brother, Kobe, pretty good. Nathaniel Parker plays the role of the main antagonist fairly well with what he had to work with. Renowned stand-up comedian Chris Rock plays a sidekick character who helps aid Haru during the latter part of the movie and does so with much gusto. Nicolette Sheridan, who many know as Edie from Desperate Housewives. Don't judge me. I actually enjoy that show. Well, she plays the film's demsel in distress. The acting by everyone was nothing worth bragging about, but at this point, Chris Farley is the main focus of the movie, and he was superb. Most, but not all, comedy movies normally suffer from having a not-so-great script, and likewise, this movie shares the same fate, unfortunately. For starters, the story has the same premise of your typical cheesy 90s action flick. If it was intentional to be a satirical take of that aspect, then it worked out well and this movie is more clever than I thought. If it wasn't, then it's just a darn shame. Overall, Beverly Hills Ninja is one of those movies where you either love it or hate it because there is no in-between. It's not an overly ill-conceived movie, but it's simply not the greatest either. Nevertheless, this movie always brings me comfort that always welcomes me with great laughter no matter how many times I watch it. I give this movie a B. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Keep up with my real reviews.